G. Maybe she's saying, look, I know you want to throw all the bums out. All those uh, smart Ivy League educated <laughs> lawyers who are in Washington, look at the mess they've gotten us into. Try somebody just like me and maybe I'll do a better job. Yeah, I don't think there's anything brilliant about Christine O'Donnell, and I, I think the, the one thing this ad really highlights is that there's not much there or there. I mean, she has virtually no policy positions. The positions she has are basically platitudes about the economy. She's positioned herself so that she's running against some big monster that exists in Washington that even those who are most disenchanted with Washington really don't think is there. And she proves that you can't take her seriously. I mean, the last person elected to this seat. He was an expert on foreign relations, an expert on Pakistan and Afghanistan. Even if you didn't like Joe Biden, you didn't always agree with him. He was respectable. You could feel good about being represented right. by him. And I think Delaware voters Boy. don't feel that I, way about her. I, I'm going well, to move on because we have so much good stuff here. <laughs> I've got to have you check out this ad that Harry Reid is playing. He's going after Sharon Angle, Nevada, of course. Sharon Angle wants to wipe out Social Security. We need to phase Medicare and Social Security out. She cut benefits for everyone coming into the system. That's Sharon Angle. First, a Scientology plan to give massages to prisoners. Now she wants to get rid of Medicare and Social Security. You know, I don't even know where to go with this, JC. And one, we're talking about I'm not a witch. And in the other one, we're talking about Scientology. It, it, where are we with American politics and advertising these days? Well, Chris, in, in politics, unfortunately, you know, your opponent tries to tell you all the, tries to tell a voter all the bad things about the person they're running against and the candidate tries to tell the voters all the positive things about themselves and the voters decide and as I said with Christine O'Donnell whether whether or not we like that ad or we think there's no nothing there no no there there the fact is the voters have to decide and I think Christine O'Donnell and Sharon uh, the you know the can the Republican candidate there in Nevada Sharon running Angle? against Harry Rich Sharon that's right uh, you know the voters are going to decide and she'll have to come Come out and defend whatever Senator Reid is saying about her, and 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 let the voters decide on November 2nd. I think people are going to be somewhat surprised. I can't say that they're going to win or they're, they're going to lose, but I think the voters are going to be uh, somewhat surprised at these candidates that we think don't have a lot of there there simply because there's a demeanor in the country that people are disillusioned about that, American politics. That Alicia and what we keep hearing about, which is this enthusiasm. Gap, and mm -hmm. you know, you can say what you want. Republicans or the Tea Party gets out their voters, and the Democrats at home, because frankly, they're fed up with what they're seeing. It doesn't <clears throat> bode well for people like Harry Reid. But you see that enthusiasm gap closing largely as the Democrats' progressive majority actually comes home. You're seeing Latinos, African Americans, women, millennial generation members, members of my generation, the largest, youngest, most progressive generation in history saying, you know what, I do care about this country, I do have a stake in this election, and I'm going to turn out in November and let you know how I feel about it. Yes, they may have been a little late to tune in, but now that they're tuning in, they're a big reason that you're seeing Democrats have have a seven-point bump in most of the latest polls. All right, we're going to talk more about all of this, and we're going to continue to talk with uh, our members of our company, Congressman Karen, Alicia. Thanks. We'll be back to you Thanks, shortly. Guys. And we are on jury watch. A verdict could come in any time now in the trial of a man accused of brutally raping and murdering a Connecticut mother and her two daughters.